Hey, it's Boontar. Uh, coming tonight uh, with the uh, second video for my uh, for my first contest. Uh, I'm gonna start off by telling you I'm smoking the uh, Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipe. This was the uh, year 2000 St. Patrick's Day pipe. Uh, in it, I am smoking the mixture that I made in the last video, which is a uh, Aaron Moore and a Black Cavendish. Uh, it's called a um, Ebony Honey, and that was a mixture that I made in, in the last video. So that's what I'm smoking this evening. Um, I want to go over the prizes with you. I did say I was going to look for something at the Irish Festival that we went to last weekend. I found a couple of things. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for, but but not too bad, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it might be something you guys enjoy. So first, <clears throat> I'm going to start with you may uh, recognize from the last video this is a little brass shamrock tray uh, this is what I used to mix the tobaccos in in the last video uh, you can use it for the same or as an ashtray or a little change tray or whatever so that's a, uh, a little brass shamrock tray that I picked up at the Irish festival uh, that's number one in the prize pack and also, there was a fellow there who was a uh, craftsman that made handcrafted leather. Uh, the place is called the Griffin Works. His name is uh, Jim Roth out of North Ridgeville, Ohio. He had all kinds of uh, nifty little handcrafted leather stuff. Uh, he had these... He had these tins, and you see here this uh, leather on the outside of the tin with the uh, Celtic knot design that he had put in there. I'm going to include uh, his business card in here in case you want to get in touch with him for any of his other leather goods or whatever. Anyway, this tin, I, you can do whatever you want with it, but I thought that this would be perfect for... You fill this for full of tobacco, and you got probably you know a good two, three, four bowls worth of tobacco in there, and uh, slide that right in your pocket, and 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 take it out on a on a day trip or something, you know, uh, just a little alternative to uh, the standard tobacco pouch. Um, it may not be something that you would store tobacco in. It's just uh, you know it's not exactly airtight, but hey, it's just something to slide in your pocket. You got a few bowls worth. Uh, take out for the day. So there you go. You got this tin and a uh, little tray, ashtray, uh, whatever, shamrock thing. That's what I picked up at the Irish Festival. So that's that's where we're starting the prize pack. Then from there, uh, before we came home from Columbus, <clears throat> I wanted to check out the local smoke shop, and I found this place called... Uh, Pipes and Pleasures. It's actually uh, SNR Woodcrafts and Pipes and Pleasures. The people that own the place, um, it's a husband and wife team, and he has since died. But the two of them together were both actually uh, they were they were pipe makers. Here I have this is a little thing I got from their shop, a little uh, pipe cleaner holder. It's got some of the information on here. I'm going to go ahead and include this as well, so you can see some of their info on there. But they were they were both pipe makers, um, and in their shop, <clears throat> my wife picked out for me this nice little gem here. Uh, I, I am smoking tonight the St. Patrick's Day pipe, which is a straight pipe, but I'm not. I, most of, most of my collection is bent pipes. I prefer generally the bent pipes, but she thought that this was a little bit different and was something that might be nice for to add to my collection. It's got a nice uh, big uh, big bowl. Um, it's just a sharp looking piece. And this is actually, this is the first pipe that my wife picked out for me. <clears throat> then after going to that smoke shop, I found out I won the uh, Joe Case contest. 
and apparently I'm going to be getting me a, uh, uh, a couple of new pipes. So my wife very responsibly said to me, you don't need this pipe, you need to give it away. So this is going to be part of the uh, prize pack in my contest. Um, that's something that I picked up at the Pipes and Pleasures in Columbus, and it was made by the uh, SNR Woodcraft. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in, I mean, this is just one little softy bit in case. I know it's kind of popular with some of the guys out there that like to smoke with the, uh, with the softy bit, so I'll include that in there as well. Uh, and finally, from that shop, just as I was, just as I was checking out up at the uh, register there, they had a couple of little bins and buckets with some odds and ends. And my wife uh, also, I'll tell you, she's got a good eye. And she doesn't do too bad with the camera work either. Um, anyway, she found these little handmade uh, tampers, a little tamper on one end and a scraper on the other. And this, the guy who was working the register there, he told me that these were made by a local uh, craftsman, uh, hand carved, uh, there in the Columbus area. He did not, unfortunately, he did not know the guy's name, didn't have a business card or, or anything, but. Uh, he said that it is from a local craftsman in the Columbus area. So <clears throat> I actually picked up a couple of those. I got one that I'm using myself, and I picked up an extra one to go ahead and include in the ties pack. So that's it for the odds and ends, the goodies, the tray, the tin, uh, the little pack of pipe cleaners, uh, the pipe itself. It's a it's a it's a sharp pipe. I mean, I certainly wouldn't mind adding that to my collection. I mean, it's got a, a nice grain on there, uh, but really, uh, I, you know, I've got more than enough pipes, and I got I got more coming. So this is this is I'm giving back to the community. This is for you guys, I, for whoever the lucky winner is, uh, and then of course the little tamper. Now, what I will do, I'm also going to include. Um, uh, some samples from my own personal collection, and then I'm going to. This might be something a little bit uh, different than uh, whatever what, what the other contests do, but I'm going to. Whoever the winner is, I'll be in touch with you. I'm going to let you pick from our local tobacconist uh, a few different blends, uh, and I'll get you a few ounces of of some of the stuff uh, from our local place here in in the Cincinnati area. So. We got some tobaccos, we got a pipe, we got a tamper, we got a uh, tin, we got a little uh, tray, ashtray, mixing tray, whatever you want to call it. And that's the, uh, that's the prize pack. That's, that's my, uh, my first contest. It's going to be a yabo for somebody. So uh, I hope it's to your liking. Uh, I hope that uh, you guys have fun with the contest, with the different blends and the mixing and whatever. I, I got my first video response already tonight. I'm, I'm excited to see that. Uh, you guys are in, enjoying the contest. So all I can say is good luck. And again, for my last video, uh, it is very important to make sure that you keep your videos between one and seven minutes. Uh, you can do less than a minute and you can do more than seven minutes if you want. But without giving too much away, I will tell you that <clears throat> it will greatly reduce your chances of winning. So make sure that you keep it between one and seven minutes. And other than that, all I can say is good luck and uh, smoke them up.